Some of my favorite physics problems are the ones that are the simplest to set up. This one in particular, there's a um, Salvador Dali painting that's placed on a ramp and it slides with no acceleration. What is the coefficient of the ramp if, what is the coefficient of friction rather between Salvador Dali's famous painting and the ramp if this angle is theta? So here's the question, what is mu sub k? And all we know is that Salvador Dali's painting is sliding with a constant velocity. In fact, that's all that we need to know. Let's draw a free body diagram for this sucker. We got m times g right here. We've got the normal force this direction. And we've got friction. Let's see, it's sliding downward. So we've got friction this direction. This is f sub k. We need to establish a coordinate system. Let's put it like this, like we usually do. And then we're going to resolve this vector right here. There's an exciting game of payday going on in the other room. So I'm going to resolve this weight vector, and I'm going to say it's m times g times, oh, what's this angle right here? Is that the same as theta? It sure is. m times g times, let's see, opposite, so, ka. This is the sine of theta. This is m times g times cosine of theta. <coughs> now, the next step is to do Newton's second law in x and in y. I haven't quite drawn these to scale. I think I should make this guy a little bit longer. I hope that won't bother you if I make it like that. I need a little bit of white out, sorry about that. So this is the normal force and this is m times g going that direction and that direction. So let's do Newton's second law in the x direction, let's say. Net force in the x direction is mass times acceleration in the x direction. Now what did they say? They said V is constant. Since V is constant, we don't have any acceleration. So this is going to be zero. On the left side of the equation, we need to add up all the forces that act in the x direction. So we've got F sub K in the positive x direction, and then MG sine theta in the negative x direction. MG sine theta. We also, well, let's see. We also have another, let's put this in a box. Sorry to waste your time. Let's look in the y direction. That force in the y direction is mass times acceleration in the y direction. But again, they told us the velocity was constant, so we know there won't be any acceleration, even in the y direction. We've got, uh, in the y direction, we've got F sub n that acts directly up, but acting directly into the ramp is mg cosine theta. <clears throat> So each of these equations is very simple. We just say F sub K is mg sine theta. It's a very exciting game in there. And F sub n is m times g times cosine of theta. But I'm, ooh, I've got two equations and, well, three unknowns. We don't know the mass, we don't know the normal force, and we don't know the force of kinetic friction. But we're still trying to find mu also, so let's get a uh, third equation into here, and that, of course, is the definition of mu. Mu sub k is the force of kinetic friction divided by the normal force. Well, let's take this and solve it for f sub k, say. f sub k, in this case, is going to be equal to mu sub k times the normal force. Take this equation and plug it in over here. Okay, so that says mu sub k times the normal force is equal to m times g times sine of theta. But I don't want the normal force in here. Now I've got two equations and two unknowns. So I'll take this normal force right here and uh, well, let's try to get rid of it. I'm going to take this equation now and plug it into here. Mu sub k times mg cosine theta. Ooh, look at this. This is some pretty cool stuff. Is mg times sine of theta. We're trying to find mu sub k. Now we've got just that single equation, and we see that mu sub k is equal to mg sine theta divided by mg cosine theta. Get out the purple marker. M's cancel, G's cancel. Now we've got 
sine of theta over cosine of theta, which is the definition of tangent of theta. And we've found that if a box is sliding with no acceleration, then the coefficient of friction must be the tangent of the angle of the ramp. Dang, look at that.